So as you're asking, then you want to say, John, say, listen, even sometimes maybe the, let's say you have a stay-at-home mom and the mom's maybe bringing in because of child allowance maybe $800 a month, even though the mom might not have a job, she's still bringing, there's a value there. Uh, because if something happened to the mom, who would take care of your children? Would you have to hire a nanny? Would you have to do that? So there's uh, there's a minimum, there's always a value to something. So say, John, if something happened, who would take care of it? What a minimum amount of money? And then you have kind of a goal. Say, listen, you don't have a program put in place now, and it's actually the foundation. I mean, I can start saving you $100 in your education fund, and maybe at the end of the year, you'll have $1,200, but if something happens to your income, you financially, emotionally, it's going to be devastating. We can't change that. But to have that financial burden as well, and you can tell your story if you know some of your family, but I say to have that financial burden is almost devastating. It's probably, it's the foundation of the home, you know, so we want to make sure we cover that and make sure they say it's important, not you say it's important. Say, listen, if we can come up with a program, what is the, what do you think the minimum amount would be that, you, I mean, you know, we have car insurance and our car is worth 15000 We pay $100 a month and we have a house that's worth two fifty, and we pay $100 for that insurance we pay and and there's no I don't think there's an amount of, of insurance I think that we can uh, that we can put on a life and say well uh, this guy's more important all we're doing is protecting a revenue so if you're paying so what would be the minimum I mean so 15,000 for a car is 100 bucks what do you think the minimum amount you'd be willing to commit minimum uh, to be able to to, to be able to, to cover that if something were to happen that we hope never happens they'll give you an amount Next question is mortgage. Say, so, you know, and people love talking about their interest rate on their home. It's nuts. Say, do you know what your, you know, do you know what your interest rate is on your mortgage? And say, oh yeah, I got it at 1.9. Da da da. You know, they'll tell you the R except for that. And again, you should already know what the value was, but you want to write that down. You want to ask to have mortgage insurance. They paid what? Uh, is their monthly payment including with taxes? Uh, you know, wrap. You want to find out kind of all that information. It's here. You want to ask consumer debt and 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 when you, and especially as a trainee, if you're hearing this and you find out they have they have more credit cards that you can fit on a page or you find out that their education program is with CST and they just paid three thousand dollars of fees. Don't go whoa or ha or hmm or laugh, none of that crap. Okay, because we say it all the time, say, oh man, you have that, oh that's bad. And the client's like, what are you talking about? They don't want to give you their stuff, you know. So as a trainee, just be quiet, take notes, and pay attention. Uh, so you want to ask, and a lot of people say, uh, when you're doing this, they say, oh, just give me the, the figures and don't worry about it. You need to see their credit cards, you know. You need to see your credit cards. And, and the reason being is, the, you know, consumers now are paying so much in credit card insurance that pretty much if they have $10,000 of credit card debt with, uh, with credit card insurance, we could probably give them like 200, 300,000 for the same Price. And credit card insurance is probably one of the, the most expensive insurances, so you have to see that. And one of the, I think the questions you could ask is saying, you know, I have $10,000 and, uh, and uh, you know the minimum payment is $200 a month. Uh, but they're paying 500, and don't be don't be disillusioned because if their debt statement was higher uh, is higher now than it was three months ago, yeah, their 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 minimum payment is 200. They're using they're they're putting down 500, but they're using the 500 during the month. So it's just like a put and take account. So it's so important that you write down a minimum and what the actual pay. But even more importantly, say uh, you know does the balance ever change? You want to let them know. Say does it go up? Does it go down? Last year, what was it at? To kind of find out because. And, uh, and I think when you're doing the taxes and coming back with a strategy to, to get the wealth builder done, uh, you want to make sure that you have all the, all the areas down pat. But if they know they're going to get back $5,000 from the taxes this, this year, and you come up with a wealth bill of $30,000, to get them back $10,000 to, to pay off their credit card debt, and they already know they're getting back five grand to pay this off, your solution's in the toilet. So you want to make sure you find out, say, listen, what's your game plan? Do you, you know, how are you going to pay this off? When are you going to pay this off with your current program? Do you, do you see a, the light at the end of the tunnel? So if they already have a, a solution, you're coming back with a solution that's worse than theirs, uh, you lose all credibility. So make sure you ask questions and you wait for their answers. Don't ask questions and talk and talk and talk and talk. Ask question, talk, 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 talk. Ask question, don't talk. Ask question, don't talk. Ask question, don't talk. And, uh, and I'm telling you, it'll be amazing. Uh, so here, uh, name the school, what percentage you intend to pay, what are you personally saving, do you know how much money you have, and, uh, and again, it'll be magical. And on the last page, you actually have the, the goals and dreams, and I think uh, asking those questions, is most people don't have goals, they don't have dreams, and when you come back with a solution to be able to hit that, and especially with the wealth builder, nobody wants to save, but if they have goals that they want to go on a trip, they want to go to Disney, they've never been, or they want to go to Hawaii, it costs $3,000, and they don't want to start saving for the retirement. Well, you do a wealth of 10000 get them back three, four grand on, uh, from the retirement, the three grand goes to the vacation. Now, they feel good at least about having $10,000 in there and saving for the retirement. So you want to make sure that you hit their goals, not your goals, um, even if you think some things are more important. You want to just go what they want. 
an emergency fund. Say, listen, uh, most people are about one paycheck away from just financial ruin. Uh, you know, what amount of money would you like to have so you can go to bed, you know, feeling good at night? That if you did lose your job, how many months would you want to have of savings so that you can be able to, to to never worry if you know never wake up on you know on that Sunday morning and say, man, will I have my job Monday? So uh, what you want to find out what amount of money or, or how what's the term three six months? And we have all that. And again, this is a lot of information. A lot of people say, wow, this is overwhelming. Uh, but the clients, man, when you know when they know that you have a financial needs analysis and you let them know man to have one of these bad boys uh, you, they would charge you about maybe five hundred a thousand up to maybe five ten thousand dollars to have a program like this and for them to understand that you're gonna be able to hit all their goals and dreams they know how big this is and you'll be able to have something like that at no cost and all you're asking is to introduce other families and while you're doing this you know you're they're gonna refer you people they're gonna give you a builders list they're gonna refer you a bunch of people say how would you like to if I can if I can give these how many works on your behalf I'm gonna tell them John and Mary man I was introduced to you say man I'm gonna give ABCs I'm gonna give every time I meet someone I'm gonna give someone on your behalf not his behalf on your behalf if you can come out with me and you can see a couple of cases you can see five six and you see you know what difference and what impact we make and you can make some extra money do you see any reasons why you would not want to do that and if they say well I'm doing overtime well how much do you make why not take the course that we have why not get a license why not make a difference you know and you ask them have you ever thought of owning your own business have you ever thought of working for yourself have you ever thought of, of spending more time maybe taking one or two days a week with your family and doing whatever you want and then you ask them if money and time were not an issue what would you do and either as an associate or either as a as a client your goal is to, that, that question if money or time were not an issue what would you spend your time doing on a daily basis so when you start asking questions like that you start getting in their heart and, and and again I'm very technical so it might not come across but when you start getting in their heart and you say man what we're doing for families is special what you can do is special what what your buddy is doing why you decide to work with this company is the concepts and how we're helping families and hitting their goals not our goals we're not sales take your hands off your chest we're gonna show you the same money you know we're gonna give you uh, you know we always say we're gonna give you high you know the, the industry sells you um, high cost insurance versus low value we're gonna show you give you high value with low cost we're gonna show you to pay off your debt save money put money in your emergency fund have hit your goals and then write it down and come back with an amazing program and I mean I don't care who you are you can have a grade 5 education you can have no math no math French English none of that you can sit down with family and totally impact their lives because of the education you have with Prime American because what we're doing for families and the, the system that you have here with the data pages the FNA uh, and then at the same time when you're doing that as you're doing the pickup and you're asking these questions you have the policy delivery receipt. You have a checklist on your Primerica envelope saying, this is the stuff I need. So if your new associate's there and they're not giving you information, take this envelope, go to your office in your house and get this, 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 this and that. If, it, if they feel like it's a lot of information, well based on their goals, pick up some of the things that you'll need right away. Notice of assessment, pay stub, life policy. So get them to do two, three things. Grab them now and leave this with them. Make sure you leave with something because if they think and, and they feel bad or they're not sure, you want to make sure you can get in the door to fix any concerns that they have. So, so grab a couple of things and if they're not giving me everything, leave this with them and say I'm coming back tomorrow to pick up. When, when do you think you'll have enough time and say we need to meet fast. We can't meet same time next week because same time next week their kid's going to get sick and then it's going to be a week later and a week later. And if, and if you wait too long and you come back with a strategy that's important and they see that they're paying $4,000 in fees here, they see that they're having struggles, they see all that stuff and it takes you three weeks to get back. If it was that important, why are you not meeting them within the next 48, 72 hours? If what you said was so valuable and they need to stop their current program, Programs and you come back, yeah, you know, in 2013, uh, they, 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 it's not what you say, it's what you do, you know. So they're going to look at that. And that trainee, man, as a trainee, you need to be totally involved. You need to be sitting there. You need to be listening. You need to be excited. You need to be taking notes. They need to see that you, you know, you, you don't let the clients be more interested than you. You know, they're gonna, they're, they're not gonna see that. And as soon as that attitude changes, as soon as that, that, that thinking changes, man, they're gonna, they're gonna be on your side. They're gonna be your clients for life, and they'll refer you to a lot of people. So I guess that's, uh, that's about it for that part.